Number 10. Top seven and the Eagles have a response. Laura Mack takes the two strike pitch to left center and that will clear the fence. The fireworks keep on coming as the junior smashes her third home run of the year. EHT scores on an error later in the inning as they lead 4-2 and are three outs away from a sectional final. Number nine. Here comes Ridge on the attack in the third. They're gonna be down a man here, but it does not matter. Ryan Turner to Ryan Ward, and we've got a pole goal. This one has everybody fired up and dancing. The Red Devils zip out to a 7-2 lead right here. Two minutes remain in the third quarter. Number eight. Holy Cross trying to stay within striking distance. Dante Bell lines this to center, and Mike Tompkinson makes the diving grab. What a play out there from the senior as he ends the inning with a web jab. The Lancers trail by three after five. Number seven. Gardner got it done in the field as well. This is a high fly ball to right. The runner tacks from third. Casey Gardner comes up firing. That's a cannon. That was one heck of a throw by Gardner. Number six. Bases are loaded for Robbinsville at the bottom of the seventh. The pitch gets away and Middletown South's catcher Norris Sarcone tracks the ball down and gets the tag out to end the ball game. Take another look. Sarcone is able to seal the deal as Middletown South shocks the state with an upset over last year's Group 3 state finalist. Number five. That sets up Nikki Becker. And with that last name, you just know he's clutch. Seton Hall Prep's outfield is playing deep. Becker drops it in left, and here comes the winning run. Nikki Becker walks it off in the eighth inning. The Ironmen win 2-1 in an extra inning thriller. Number four. Donovan Catlick makes noise on the first batter of the game. Joe Mayer crushes this pitch to left, and we weren't joking about making noise. <laughs> Boom, off the scoreboard. A leadoff homer for the Felician commit. What an opening statement. Let's zoom in and slow this down. Mayer hits the top of the scoreboard. The Griffins have a one nothing lead. Number three. Quinn Dushevsky with a base hit to left. Ezra Sadowski's heading home and we've got a play at the plate. HC catcher Caleb McGann reaches and makes the tag to get the runner out. Tommy Boss with the throw from left field. This deserves another look. McGann goes airborne, and he just gets a piece of the jersey. It stays a 1-0 game. This play would prove to be critical for Hunter and Central. Number two. The big storyline right now, though, is Luke Dickerson. He came into this game with 16 home runs this season. That's too short of tying the state's all-time single season record. Dickerson comes into the bottom of the sixth inning 0 for 2 on the day, but it doesn't last long. He cranks a towering blast to the opposite field. See you later. A huge two-run blast is home run number 17. Just incredible. The senior makes it a 5-1 game right here, and that is certainly a cause for celebration. And the number one play of the week. Then the biggest hit of the game comes courtesy of Rob Chiasano. With the bases loaded, this ball is smashed into the gap. Three runs come in to score, and this was a special moment for Chiasano. He revealed to the media after the game that his grandfather passed away earlier in the day. Chiasano gives him quite a tribute. He told the Asbury Park Press, quote, he'd want me to play. What an emotional moment.